All right. And developing tonight, allegations of human trafficking, drugs and prostitution are what led Beaumont officials to the front door of 99 Spa. Now, police officers raided the massage parlor yesterday, and they say the spa was operating without a license, among other things. And 12 News reporter Ebony Coleman spoke with Beaumont PD, who says any business operating illegally and most importantly, exploiting workers won't be tolerated. Ebony. Sorry, officers with, Be with Beaumont PD say the doors to the 99 spa were officially closed after they learned two of the female workers were operating without a license. But after obvious signs of illegal sexual acts, investigators are now discussing and digging deeper into that 99 spa. We received allegations and different tips about this location of possible prostitution, human trafficking, and possibly even narcotics. Those allegations led five Beaumont departments, as well as federal agencies, to a massage parlor in Beaumont called 99 Spa to make what they call a business compliance check. No one in the business was licensed. It didn't meet the criteria for a licensed massage business. Beaumont Police Officer Carol Riley says in addition to the business not having a license, they did find evidence of trafficking and prostitution. There were Asian females located inside the business. They did appear to live on the property and, you know, there was evidence that there were crimes being committed there, possibly sexual related. After the raid, both women were asked to leave the property and Danny Holmes of Harvest House, where they specialize in helping women in these situations, say there is help. We don't want people to have barriers to accessing help and that's what one of the things that traffickers try to do is saying, well, nobody's going to help you because of whatever reason, and we want to say yes, they are organizations who will help meet those immediate needs. And by shutting the doors to places like 99 Spa, the community is that much closer to making sure human trafficking is no longer an issue in Southeast Texas. Law enforcement is able to get involved and shut it down. That That is great. We want you to report that. Let us look into it. Let us see if it's something that is a legitimate um, situ bad situation for someone. Officer Riley says the raid on 99 Spa is still under investigation, and if you do go to a spa, you should be looking for licensing, proper, proper signing protocols, and multiple payment methods. Ebony Coleman, 12 News.